Hello and welcome to this Esri Ireland ArcGIS for Schools tutorial. This video is going to go over how to create a web map using the ArcGIS Online Map Viewer. We will look at different ways you can add data and how to symbolize your data. We will also touch on base maps and sharing options. Here I am signed in to my ArcGIS Online account and to open a map, I just go up to the top bar here and select map. Inside the map viewer application, we have two vertical toolbars that we can use to interact with the app and the data that we add. On the left, we have the content toolbar, which is always dark. And on the right, we have the settings toolbar, which is always in a lighter color. When we have added data to our map, and a layer is selected, we'll be able to interact with the settings toolbar. One of the most important steps in making a map is adding data, and there is a few different ways we can go about it. There is a huge amount of data available on the internet. A whole host of organisations provide easy to download data sets, which you can easily add to ArcGIS Online. I'm going to search for some data online and I'm going to use the USGS uh, website, which provides a lot of interesting data. And I'm going to choose um, earthquakes, all earthquakes in the past seven days. And this will download to my computer. Back in my map, I can press the plus button here and I can choose the add layer from file option. I select the your device option and I can go to my downloads where I will be able to find the data I just downloaded. It's important to note at this point that this is a CSV file and not an XLS. I would like to create a hosted feature layer and add it to the map and I select next. I make sure that all of my data is of the right type. That my latitude and longitudes is being read correctly. And I can give it a title. give it um, some tags. Create and add to map. I've zoomed out a little bit so that we can see where the earthquakes are happening, but I'd like the data to be a little bit more representative of what we're looking at. So I'm going to go into the styles options here and I'm going to symbolize this data by attributes. I can do this um, in this area here. I select field and I select magnitude and I click add. Now we can see that the higher the magnitude, the bigger the bubble. There are other styles to choose from, such as the color and the size. And we can also have a look at the heat map option, which shows the hotspots of earthquakes that are happening around the globe. But I am going to stick with the counts and amounts here. To explore the data a little bit more, we can uh, have a look by clicking on a point which brings up a pop-up that tells us all of the data related to that earthquake. We can also open our attribute table by clicking on the three dots here and clicking show table. And this will show us all of the data for this layer. And we can see that the latitude and longitude is there, which allows us to plot the points on the map. Before moving on to the next step, 
I am going to choose a different base map. I am going to choose the National Geographic style map, which I think will lend itself well to the data I'm showing. Now that I've chosen my base map, I can save my map. I can give it a title. I can add my tags for ease of finding my work later on and a summary to describe my map. Once we have written up all of our metadata, we can click save. Another way of adding layers is via URL. So I can search for layers using the search here. And I can search outside of my organization. This is the layer I'm looking for. And so I'm going to open up the details. And down at the bottom, I can copy the URL for this layer. I can see that this layer has got a good description and clear terms of use, and I can see that it's authoritative. I'm going to copy the URL and bring it into my map. Back in my map, I can go to the plus or add button, and I'm going to select the add layer from URL option. I can paste in my layer and I can add to my map. And we can see the layers come in. Again, I want to symbolize this layer by attribute. And so I go to the styles section and I choose a field and I'm going to select type. And now my lines are coming up in different colors depending on the type of boundary. If I open up the table, I can see the different types here. Next, we are going to add data on tsunamis because of the link between earthquakes and tsunamis. So we're going to go back to our add button and this time we're going to select browse layers. Here we can see that I'm searching in ArcGIS Online, but we can see if we open up the drop down menu, we can search in my content, my favorites, my groups, organization, living atlas or ArcGIS Online. I'm going to stick with ArcGIS Online and search tsunamis. I'm going to open up the little filter button here and make sure that it's um, sorted by relevance. And I'm going to add this layer here, Tsunami Energy Maps for Historical Events. And I can see by that it's made by NOAA and that it's authoritative. Once the layer is added in, we can expand this Tsunami layer and select the image that we would like to focus on. I'm going to switch on the Japan area. Now that the layer is loaded, we can see the incredible amount of energy that has come out of this particular area. Once we are happy with our map, we can now decide how we would like to share our work. And we have a couple of options. First, we can update the sharing status by going to the share map button here on the left. And we can decide if we want to keep this map private, share it with just our organization or share it with the public. I'm going to choose organization. We also will have the option to share this map with specific groups. Our other option is to create a web app using this map. And we can do this by going to the create app button down here and selecting any of these options. We will be doing another video on instant apps 
and how you can use this map to create an app of your own to share with the public or with any group that you would like. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that you found the video informative. If you did, please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe.